Hey guys, so yesterday when I was on Twitter, I saw that Victoria Swab was going to be in Southern California today, and I got really excited. I haven't been to very many author events, and definitely not for like an author that I really love, like Victoria Swab. I've only read A Darker Shade of Magic, but I loved it, and I am currently waiting on my library copy of A Gathering of Shadows to come through so that I can read that as well. Um, so I'm really excited to go meet her, and I thought I'd give this vlogging thing a try. I've never done it before, but there's always a first time for everything, and I figured that a author event was a perfect thing to vlog. So, um, I'm about to leave my house. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning. The event's not until 2 o'clock. Every Sunday, I go to a bagel shop for, like, three or four hours and have, like, bagel and coffee for breakfast, and I work on my blog for that amount of time. Um, so I'm today is Sunday, so I'm going to be doing the same thing, but I'm going to go up to a bagel place that's closer to where Victoria Swap is going to be, the Barnes and Noble, so that I don't risk like being late or anything. So I will check in with you guys in a little while. Okay, so I just got done blogging at Brugger's, um, the bagel shop, and now I'm going to head over to Barnes & Noble. It's still before 12.30, it's about 12.20, um, so I'm definitely pretty early, but I want to make sure I get a good seat, and I also um, want to ask them about like how about the rules around the, the book signing. I've never been to a book signing before. And, um, I know sometimes, you know, they have certain rules, like you have to buy the book there, etc. I actually don't own a copy of A Darker Shade of Magic, and now that it's out on paperback, I am open to the idea of owning it, because I did really like it, and especially if I can get it signed. And so, I'm going to ask Barnes & Noble about that. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna head over to Barnes & Noble now. See you in a bit. Okay guys, I'm here, so I'm gonna head inside and see what the situation looks like as far as seating. And um, I'll probably do a little bit of vlogging in the, in the store, but it'll probably just be me like filming stuff, not actually talking to you because, um, like I said, this is my first vlog and the idea of talking to my camera <laughs> in a store full of people is a little intimidating, so. Um, I'm definitely going to film some of this for you just so you can see it, but I might not be talking to you very much while I'm in the store. Okay guys, so I just talked to the people who work at Barnes and & Nobles, and it sounds like I need to have a copy of um, A Gathering Shadows to be able to get anything signed. So what I am going to do is get a copy of A Gathering of Shadows, um, because it's only out on hardback. I'm actually just going to do a giveaway for that one. I prefer to get paperbacks of my books, and then I'm going to get a paperback of A Darker Shade of Magic and get that personalized for myself. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm gonna walk around and try and find these books real quick and buy them. Gathering of Shadows, and joining her today are best-selling author Marie Liu and award-winning author Gretchen McNeil. Please welcome Victoria Marie and Gretchen. <laughs> Great friends and incredible authors here with me as we um, launch a Gathering of Shadows into the world, cannonball style. Actually, a teen female version of Darth Vader, and about her downfall into darkness, and whether or not she can be redeemed. It's, um, it's a little, it's a little dark. <laughs> I'm the, what I call a connect the dots -er, which is that I don't start writing a book unless I have five to ten moments. Some of them are plot twists, some of them are character reveals, one of them was the moment when Kel and Delilah Bard collide in that alley. But I have to have these moments, and one of them has to be the last scene. I always have to know exactly what that last page before the end is going to look like. Does it ever change for you? My, um, well, the only time it's changed so far uh, in 10 books, nine books is A Gathering of Shadows, where my editor was like, delete those last 20,000 words and do it again. Um, and some of it was doing again, and some of it was just backing up, so sorry for book three. <laughs> I just backed up like two chapters. <laughs> <laughs> she made me rewrite the beginning of book three, too. It's fine. I didn't kill 90% of the cast anymore. <laughs> That's like 75. It's okay. I tend to do the first book in a series has like very, very high plot stakes, like world 
ending plot stakes. So one of the ways that I deal with that, and this is both in writing a sequel and in writing something like Gathering of Shadows, is um, I change the stakes entirely. Rather than try to write a, the world ending even more, or like an even bigger issue, I tend to take the second book and twist it internally. So instead, it's um, my second books tend to be much more character driven. I focus on the strength and weaknesses and the, the, the risk and danger of the individual characters, whether it's their lives, whether it's their happiness, whatever it is. Gathering is very much a character plot book. Part of my process too of figuring out um, sophomore novels, like I have to have an end, like a real end for um, the second book. In, in, in both of my series, and that helps me have something to aim towards, otherwise it's just sort of like, that was my problem with the first version of Prodigy, it just sort of like, just, just aimless rambling, like I just need to get to book three, <laughs> and I couldn't do that, because I realized like this is also, a, it has to be a self-contained story in some sense, so it, yeah, it, a lot of it is, is how do I take my characters down, down to like the lowest point, um, which, which for me is like how I like to structure my, my second books. You know, the, the endings of both of the second books are really awful for my characters, uh, and I and I enjoy that. And that. <laughs>Hey guys, so I just got done with the event. That was a whirlwind of activities and so much fun. I met some cool people and of course I met some cool authors. Um, I got a bunch of things signed, actually more than I'd planned on because after I bought the books that I had planned on buying, my younger sister found out who I was meeting and it needed her own copies. And I got pictures with both of them. And the third author that was here, I, I can't remember her name right now, um, but she was really funny in all of her answers and she apparently writes YA horror, um, which I wanna read more horror. And so I'm definitely gonna be picking up some of her books in the future. It was a lot of fun. I'm still like a little shaky because it was just so much excitement. Um, but yeah, I had a blast and now it's time for the drive home, which hopefully won't take me too long. I think that's all I'm going to vlog. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my experience. So until next time, bookworms, keep reading. Bye!